some of the things we've, we've got on the show today. Yes. So we said yesterday you were going to do it yesterday afternoon. Yes. And now you have done it. How was it? It was amazing. Yesterday I went to go and interview the boys, uh, Taylor and Rob, my mates. Um, and they did not disappoint. They were so nice. In fact, obviously knew I was going to love Robert Patterson. Mm. But Taylor, surprisingly handsome and chatty as well. Well, it's funny you should say that. Because when you when you wrap up the interview and everyone says thanks very much indeed, that's a lovely interview, and you take the microphones yes. off. And this is a bit from your interview at, right at the very end, saying goodbye and thank you to Taylor. Uh, and uh, just watch uh, Holly's eyes. Thank you very much. Awesome. Was that all right? That was perfect. Easy, Good. easy peasy. Oh, I'm pleased. And I was watching him take his mic off. Well, let's have a look in close up, shall we? Cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. Awesome. Was that all right? That was perfect. Easy, Good. easy peasy. Oh, I'm pleased. <laughs> yeah, he might have been struggling with the old microphone. Oh, I was then you would have be... jumped to his help. I'm you? here to help. Always very helpful. <laughs> I don't know what Robert's going to think when he sees that. Uh, he'll, he'll be, be, he'll be well, Joe, I'm yeah. sure. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and before last night's big event, I got a rare opportunity during daylight hours to meet the two young men who play Edward Cullen and Jacob Black, the ghoulishly good-looking Robert Patterson and his co-star Taylor Lautner. Hmm. Professionally, I already have two leading men, but there's definitely room for a third. You're doing this on your own. He's mine! <laughs> and this is one man I've always wanted to get my teeth into. Yes, the highlight of Twilight is in town. And yesterday I rushed straight from the This Morning Studios to a swanky hotel to spend some talking time with a fox of a different variety. And he's not alone. The werewolves in London. Taylor Lautner is also stopping by for a chat. So we're nearly at the end of the Twilight Saga, but like every good story, let's start at the very beginning. Vampire Edward Robert Patterson and his human love interest Bella, Kristen Stewart, have survived many an obstacle in their relationship. Death threats and challenges from the lovesick Jacob, Taylor Lautner included. But finally, and perhaps with the proof that love conquers all, they have made it up the aisle in the first instalment in the last of the series, Breaking Dawn, part one. The wedding, I mean, other than the kind of royal wedding, was probably the most hotly anticipated wedding of the year. <laughs> and it was so incredibly beautiful. And for you, I just guess you must be thinking, God, how, in reality, how ever am I going to live up to this? Is there a certain amount of pressure on you for that? I have a problem being earnest as well in reality. Like, I mean, I could never, I, I would end up doing something which everyone would just be like, oh, God, why can't you just be serious for like one second? Why but, you more Edward? And I, <laughs> so just say the same thing Edward said. <laughs> I think I'd be used to telling you goodbye by now. He starts out the movie saying goodbye. He, he shows up to the wedding and mm -hmm. kind of has like a, a last dance with Bella, and that's really the moment where he realizes all right, it's over. She yeah. just got married. She's leaving for her honeymoon. Like, it's time to get over this. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know what happens on the honeymoon. The first three movies, he spends his whole time trying to protect Bella's honor. Um, and now that he's a married man, obviously things can it's progress. It's what everyone wants. <laughs> it is what everybody now. wants. <laughs> Was that, did you feel, because for the fans, up until now, it's all been a bit... Mills and Boone in a way yeah. like you sort of get a bit but not too much whereas this was the one where you were like right I can't wait for the actual sex scene or was that just me was there pressure on you to get that right and to make sure that it was you know didn't disappoint yeah I mean it was kind of a little bit nerve-wracking just knowing you know normally a sex scene like people don't really have any expectations because yeah. it sort of just happens but yes. um with this knowing that there are I think there's something like 126 million books sold and and the sex scene is not yeah. described in the book. It just it's a fade to black in the book. So kind of everybody's imagined it who's who's watched the movie. Yes, we have. There's funny little things that you can't have a certain noise with a certain movement and stuff. I like love that. It's it's crazy. Like the, the um and the, you can the show sexual rule book. Yeah, it's, um, it's like all this morning. We're allowed to show a naked bottom, but we can't show the crack. 
That's exactly so yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, or yeah, put yeah. a thong on or something, but yeah. you can have the bottom cheek there. Yeah, that's that's there's the no same thing. thing. Yeah, they kind of uh, so there's a shot which looks like I have an extremely elongated back because they've airbrushed out the top of my crack. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Like, it's really crazy. With time cracking on, better get back to another bare necessity. Within the first two minutes, there's you ripping your top off. And I was like, yes, there you are, the moment I've been waiting for. But then, actually, throughout the rest yeah. of the movie, you're yeah. pretty clothed. Yeah, absolutely. That what was do you it. mean, absolutely? We were most disappointed no, about it. No, that's the best part about it. I had several conversations with Bill, our director, just saying, look, like this movie is so much more of a character piece than any of the other ones. I hate that Bill and I hate you for your conversations <laughs> that you had. Um, but you got to see plenty of Robin Christen shows. We Charles. did. So the pressure was kind of off you in yes. a way. So have those two been hitting the gym a little bit? I haven't seen them in the gym, but they do say they have. And I believe it because I thought they looked pretty good. Apart from when Bella falls pregnant, that is. Yes, she isn't exactly glowing. With Bella, obviously, there's moments in, in the film where she just looks, I mean, she's so ill, she's on death's door. <laughs> and did, was any of that CGI, or did she have to lose tons of weight for that? Because no. it's quite <laughs> shocking to see her like it. Yeah, no, no, it was, main, yeah, it was CGI. I okay, mean, she's okay. pretty skinny, Bella. <laughs> but that was... Of, yeah, no, there's definitely, yeah, she didn't lose, she wasn't like 12 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Walls, is that CGI as well? <laughs> Something that's very real, however, are the millions of Twi Hard fans across the world. They can be a bit crazy sometimes, can't they? They can be very passionate, for sure. <laughs> that's good. You practice that, aren't <laughs> Passionate is a nice way of saying crazy without saying too crazy. <laughs> It's true, though. I mean, they if I had to choose one word, I'd choose amazing. I mean, they just really are. The, the amount of things that they'll do. So, what's this the franchise. weirdest thing? Um. The weirdest, I, I, you know, I've seen a lot of tattoos, um, even to the point of this, this woman has a tattoo on her back of the New Moon poster. Wow. It's, they, they go to many lengths to show their passion for this franchise. Um, That's incredible. But we wouldn't be here without that. Do you find it hard walking down the street? I mean, people would just must go, oh, my God, it's Deborah Cullen all the time. Yeah, I'm, like, one of the least likely people to get a job like this and also, like, one of the worst people who has to deal with it because I'm basically, like, it's, it's really the only thing I have to actually deal with, which kind of is a serious-ish issue. Um, it's just people following you. It's like the crazy. Yeah. It's, it's, that's the craziest thing in the world, like having to look like when you're driving or something, and they're just constantly looking in your mirror. Well, I do hope you won't mind me following him up the red carpet later. I'm coming tonight. Okay. I can't wait to see it again, second time in two days. Yes. I can't wait. See you later. We'll see you there. Thank you. Time for this wannabe vampire to disappear into the night and get ready for the premiere. Our pets twice in one day. That's worth any human sacrifice. Done. It's done. Mm, they're just both so dreamy. <laughs> I'm so lucky. Did I just talk about cracks, naked torsos, and sex throughout that whole yeah. interview? And where's the surprise in that then? <laughs> Those were the one que the set of questions you left this building with. <laughs> <laughs> Things you wanted to know. I had one agenda. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and to find.